time set properly. It doesn't really matter if they're bigger or larger, it's just the order that matters. So we would have, so basically if you have numbers from 1 to 3, it would be the exact same as having numbers 3 to 5. So basically we just need to have n passed in, I think. Thanks. Mm. Right, no, 
and we would do the base case so f n is less than 1 less than 2 so then you would return 1 else you would add up the left and the right side so for this to happen you would basically get rid of the current element and then split it so it would basically be a four loop so four i n range so this would be like the splitter i guess so for i n range n If you have three values, then you first you would do you would first do take put the first value as the node. So as the root node. So probably you would this running it like this would be more intuitive. Right, so then it goes from one to n. Yeah. 
has to be an argument for me to ask you a question. interview situation you wouldn't be able to just run tests so usually I try to do my best to run through the tests in my head first it's also a lot easier if you have pen and paper on hand which I'm too lazy to get out right now but if it gets too hard I will right so um, let's uh, try and the base case so if we only have one element we put it into the function and so we have an n is equal to one we pass it into the function we created to rehearse as one num is one if it's one it will return one because there's only one way to arrange this and we know that that works because there's only one way you can arrange one element so the next thing we do is we will try n equals 2. So when we try n equals 2, we will let me see. We have 2. It's not less than 2. So we do have a spirit here. And it's not going to be catch because we've not run it yet. So for iron range 1. So basically, it will try it one and two. Uh, so first, we do run rehearse um, one minus one, so zero, multiplied by rehearse of two minus one, so times multiplied by one, so it's one times one. So basically, there's only one way to arrange where you take one as the top root. Element, and then you have the two because the two can only go on the right. So basically, this will give you one combination. And then you take two as a root element. And once you take a two as a root element, you can have basically the same situation where this is one, and basically you have no elements here, which means there's only one way to arrange it. So you will return that, which means that total would have been added two times one would have been added to the total so the total will now be two um, so cash two is going to be equal to two and this is going to return two and because lead people like to do edge cases uh, if n is equal to zero it's quite i'm not sure if it will want to return a zero or a one because there's only theoretically only one way to arrange so we try this but basically I'll just leave a note myself of um, an edge case so then is zero, zero return zero which will account for that Because we will have three as 
number and one is as I. So we try reverse two, which returns two because bit, uh, this would be calculated here and better retrieve as cache, but basically because we did it last time, that's basically the same way the cache is going to work. It will see if we've asked the same question before, and because it's a hash table, you can do it in constant time. So let's try that. Um, so this will be two. So one times two. So if one is the base, then we have two of combinations. Um, we're just going to catch this and return this up back up to a function with three. Um, and then we try now what having two as a base element, where i is equal to two. So we will try reverse uh, one and reverse one, which are both base cases which only return one. So we uh, have one in the total. Um, uh, we catch this and it's going to be uh, add one to the total in the um, base loop, in the loop, but upper most loop, where we are passing the three. Then we pass in three, which basically just recurs to multiplied by recurs to what, zero, because I will, I will be, I will be three. Um, so three minus one, and then number is three, and I equal to three. So this is a zero. This is a two. We've cached it before. It's two, which is correct according to the example there. So theoretically, this should return five, um, which is the correct answer according to this. So let's try to run this and see if it executes properly. I'll go over the syntax first. I guess. So this was um, question 96, unique binary search trees. Um, so here you can see, usually if it's above like 70%, then it's going to be good enough. Um, I don't know, I don't know how much m memory matters because it, in real life usually memory is much cheaper than processing power. But yeah, but some questions I want you to optimize for. Um, for memory usage. So for example, there will be questions where we say, oh, do this in constant space or in linear space. Again, about respect of the time it takes. So that's something to keep in mind. But usually the leading question will say that as for example an extension. 